Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to part two of six of the Royal Rumble pay-per-view. And tonight, we finally get to see a showdown between these two men that we've been waiting to see since SummerSlam, pretty much. And tonight, it is finally happening. Kevin Owens has finally gotten his way into a match with a man who he has been wanting to kill for a long time, Sami Zayn. Now, Sami Zayn forced Kevin Owens into a three stages of Zayn gauntlet before the Royal Rumble. And just this Friday, two days ago, Kevin Owens had to do a two-on-one handicap match. So he may be a bit bruised and a bit battered, but he's here for a fight after previously defeating AJ Styles, Andrade, and then AJ and Andrade in a handicap match. But there he is, Sami Zayn can no longer run as Kevin Owens, as you may have seen, picked a steel cage match to contest this heated feud within and just for even better circumstances Sami Zayn will not be able to escape the cage because if he does the match will not be over the only way Sami Zayn can win is by a pinfall or submission within the cage and no one will be able to enter and stop Kevin Owens from his brutality. So let's get right into it. Here we go, Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn watching the steel cage fall from, go down on top of them as Kevin Owens with a shoulder tackle to start off with. And he's just going on the brawl as you hear the fans in support of Sami Zayn here. Obviously we are in Philly tonight, which might benefit Sami Zayn here, and if I'm not wrong, this is where Sami Zayn won his first ever NXT Championship, oh and Kevin Owens, going back on the assault, he's brought boy to get his hands on Sami Zayn for almost 6 months, and now the time has finally come, oh and another shoulder tackle. Kevin Owens picking Sami up, but Sami Zayn with a, his own shoulder tackle. Kevin Owens catching the leg. Oh! Tweaking the knee. Kevin Owens picking up Zayn here. Oh! Sammy using his speed and his agileness to his advantage here. Multiple forearms. Kevin Owens chucking Zayn into the corner, but oh! Big boot. Catching Sammy off guard here. Here we go, Kevin, just trying to, oh, super kick by Kevin Owens. Kevin Owens on top rope, turning around, oh, trying to go for a double axe handle, Zayn gets out of the way, Kevin Owens stopping Sami Zayn from doing a German suplex, and Kevin Owens, oh my god, backbreaker. Kevin grabbing Sammy, dragging him to the ropes, and oh, knee! Kevin Owens looking all high and mighty about himself right now. Sammy can't do anything at the moment. And Kevin chucking Sammy into the cage. Oh no, Kevin. Getting the arm. But Sammy with a reversal punches to the gut. It seems like the bruises of Kevin Owens from Friday are still in effect here. Sammy needs to use it to his advantage because right now Kevin is absolutely demolishing him. But Sammy Zane puts Kevin to the top rope. Oh, what's this? No, Sammy. Without 
Horika Rana off the top rope. Sami's trying to escape. Oh, Kevin trying to catch him with a kick in midair. But Zane, perfectly timing it. And a blue thunderbomb by Sami. One, two, kick out by Kevin. Sami Zayn with the great equaliser, the blue thunderbomb. And he tucks Kevin into the corner. Oh, and a halluva kick to Kevin. Kevin's down. Sammy's going for the cover. This is it. One. Kick out of one and a half by Kevin. Sammy Zane's Haluma kick does not seem to face Kevin Owens anymore. Another cover. Kick out by Kevin. And Sammy Zane just going to have to go back to work here. He picks up. His old friend Kevin Owens, but Kevin, we reversal. Oh my god. This is vengeance! Oh my god! Straight to the back of the neck. Sammy's so age crawling towards Kevin Owens. As Kevin Owens chucking Sammy off the ropes for a pop up power bomb. Cover. One. Two. Kick out by Sammy. This will probably benefit Kevin. He wants to beat the living hell out of Sammy Zayn, but Zayn isn't letting it happen. He picks up KO. But KO reversing. Oh, I think Sammy Zayn will try to go for his submission manoeuvre. But Kevin Owens reversed just in time. Kevin Owens chucks Zayn into the corner here. Oh. No, Kevin. Kevin! No! Don't! Oh, cannonball! Reverse by Zane! Kevin always holding Zane down, though. But Sami Zayn got out of something that could have potentially ended his career. A man of Kevin Owens' size coming at you with that terminal velocity is not going to end well. Oh. Dropped to a hold by Sami. And into the ropes. Kevin Owens gets out of the way there. Sammy chucks Kevin into the corner. Don't want a drop kick to the back. Kevin Owens gets straight up though. And Sammy's in with a neck breaker. Dragging Kevin near the ropes. Cover. Oh, Sammy. You dirty, dirty boy. Two. Kick out by Kevin. Oh, Kevin with a kick to the gut. And a, oh, Kevin trying to go for a soup kick, but Sammy catches his hand. And into the corner. Both of them extremely exhausted, but Kevin Owens avoids the chop. And, oh, Sammy's in with a forearm. And off the top rope with a DDT. But Kevin Owens, straight back up. Sami Zayn gets out of the way with a blue thunderbomb. One. Kick out by Owens at one and a half. Kevin trying to crawl away from Sami. But Sami Zayn with a DDT to the leg. Remember part three will be the world title match. For Monday Night Raw, part four will be the WWE Championship match for SmackDown. And then part five and six will be the Royal Rumble matches. But Sami Zayn, yet again, trying to go for his finishing manoeuvre, his submission hold. But it's not happening. Kevin Owens picks Zayn, Zayn up. Zayn reverses the stunner with a clothesline of his own. Kevin Owens with a mini fireman's carry. Dragging Sami Zayn. Kevin Owens from the... Oh my god! On the ropes, a power bomb. Kevin Owens with the cover. One, two, kick out by Sammy. Look at the face of Kevin Owens. Infuriated at the sight of Sammy Zayn. Now up goes Kevin. 
Oh my god! Kevin Owens with a moonsault to Sami Zayn. One, two, Ke and it's Kevin Owens wins with a moonsault to Sami Zayn. Oh my god! Just some of these highlights for this match. Kevin Owens gets the ending he wants, but he isn't done. Kevin Owens may have won by a moonsault, but he isn't done with a super kick. Now is not the time for the referee to get involved in this. And into the corner, Sammy Dane. Oh, and met with a clothesline. Kevin Owens just going after Sammy Dane. Turns him round. Kick. Throws him on the ropes. And a pop up power bomb. And that has got to be it. And that has got to be it for Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. But now, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for the Women's Championship match. Next. Ladies and gentlemen, it is now time for the Women's Championship match. And out first, the challenger. One third of the Riot Squad. Liv... Morgan now Liv won a chance at the women's title on Smackdown a few weeks ago by defeating Becky Lynch and now the real question is can she defeat the undefeated Asuka ever since she lost to Charlotte at Wrestlemania 34 she has been undefeated in this universe mode. Obviously, we are going to WrestleMania 34 in this universe mode. So, she is still currently undefeated. But, out comes... Our Women's Champion. If she wins tonight... She surpasses Goldberg and his undefeated streak in professional wrestling. She's had a tight grip on that championship since the draft and she has not let go ever since. And the real question is, can anyone stop Asuka? And ladies and gentlemen, just to let you all know, the Women's Royal Rumble match will be taking place on SmackDown instead of the Royal Rumble. Obviously due to the fact that SmackDown have got the rights to all the women in this universe mode. Whilst Raw has all the tag teams, so... The Men's Royal Rumble will be the last thing in this pay-per-view, but then on the SmackDown after... It will be a 20 women Royal Rumble match in the main event. But right now, less chatter and more fighting as Asuka is well known for. WWE Women's Champion Asuka. But she is not without her challenger as tonight. She has Liv Morgan to worry about. And it is underway. Asuka already started off with a brutal display of her power will she be able to defeat Liv Morgan who has been on a pretty decent run herself and oh a hip toss and ask her again Just taking apart Liv Morgan here and into the corner goes Liv ask her just taking her time with her Oh, and Liv with a kick to the face. And she turns around Asuka. Chucking Asuka into the corner. Running off. And a monkey flip. What are you going to do here now? 
Oh, Asuka gets out of the way though. Oh, he misses. She misses. Throw it straight to the back of the neck. Oh, and a stomp to the arm. What's Liv going to do here? Gets pushed off by Asuka and a drop kick. Asuka once again proving why she is the most dominant woman in professional wrestling. But Liv Morgan reverses into a sunset flip. One. Kick out Asuka. One. Two. Kick out by Liv. One. Kick out. Liv chucks Asuka into the corner once again. Oh, and a clothesline back into the corner. And using her knee to the face of the Empress of Tomorrow. But Asuka finally getting out of the way. Liv looks to be chasing her down here. Oh, and a kick to, to the gut. And Asuka with her own kicks. Looking very similar to Daniel Bryan's. Inspiration is key for this match. And Daniel Bryan has some inspiration. Oof. Stomps yet again. Don't want a kick. Drop kick straight to the face of Liv Morgan. Oh, Liv. Let's go. Oh! Gets Asuka with a drop toe hold. And just walking across her back. Oh. Asuka. Arm drag to Liv. And into the corner. Asuka! With her own rear view. And now to the outside goes Liv Morgan. Oh! Punch connected but Asuka! It's reversed. Liv jumps back in. Is this a chance? Oh. Asuka gets out of the way. And a drop kick. To Liv Morgan. Now up to the top rope goes Liv. What's Asuka doing? No Asuka. No. No. From the top rope. A superplex. Straight to the back of Liv Morgan, a superplex. Now Asuka, oh, trying to go for a signature, but Liv, oh, what's Liv doing here? She's got her signature moving. Can she tap out Asuka? It's looking very likely Asuka's going to get out, and she is. She gets out of the submission hold. Oh! Live into the corner. Trying to go for another monkey flip. A backhand by Asuka in twice. But Liv reversing. Asuka reverses Liv's finisher. Turns around. With an ankle lock. But Liv is too close to the ropes. Liv needs to get up here. What's Asuka going to do? Asuka turning Liv around. She's got her in the Asuka choke. But Liv is able to get out of it. And she now has an advantage. Asuka is dazed. What's she going to do here? Oh! And Asuka to the outside. Asuka reverses. Oh, misses. But Liv with a net breaker. Snap there into a kick to the back. Ooh. Chop to the face of the forearm. Another chop. Go on, Liv planted Asuka. She's going to have to get Asuka back into the ring. Remember, champion's advantage for Asuka here. Oh, Asuka gets straight up, though. And a clothesline to live. And another one. 
She ducks under lips, falls light, and a kick straight to the head. Oh, what a kick to the gut. Oscar off the ropes. Oh, planted lip to the floor. Oh, Liv reverses. Oscar trying to go for a chokehold, but Liv off the ropes. Oh, knee to the face. Liv cover. One, two, three. And we have a new women's champion in Liv Morgan. What a match. Oscar, maybe not feeling a hundred percent as of late, but Liv Morgan took advantage and is now your new undisputed women's champion. Ruby Riot and Sarah Logan are going to be very happy with this one, as she has now booked her ticket to WrestleMania as women's champion. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the main event of part two of six and tonight's main event is as you could tell the triple threat TLC match for the Intercontinental Championship and out first from Birmingham England is the NXT UK Champion and the man who has really been trying to get under the skin of the Intercontinental Champion in the last couple of weeks. And the man who wants another championship on his left shoulder. Pete Dunn. He looks ready to fight. And his fight is ready. Let's get out the other challenger for the Intercontinental Championship, which is hanging 20 feet above the ring. And the second challenger, as you can tell very obviously, is the Demon King the man who has defeated Randy Orton already which is what got him into this match that man there Finn Balor now after the draft Finn's career kind of stagnated a little bit he had a match with AO Styles which was pretty good but that's all he's really had of note is since the draft but now he has put his name into the IC title fishbowl that is included Pete Dunn, Cesaro, who is on Raw by the way, but he has been wanting to go on SmackDown to get the IC title. And AJ Styles is also another man who wants the IC title. But they will get to compete for another title to, uh, later on tonight at the Royal Rumble where the winner gets to headline Wrestlemania with a world champion of his choosing but right now we have got Finn Balor making his way to the ring really popping the fans out of their seats at the moment he's kind of a fan favourite as you can see right there Finn looking up to the IC title knowing it is his destiny Obviously one of the most popular wrestlers right now, one of the most likeable as well. Felt, fans have felt he's been a bit mistreated over the last couple of years, but now it's time for him to get back into the fray and hold a title around his waist or, around, or on his shoulder once again. But obviously there is two men in his way, and one of them is that man right there 14 time world champion wait no it's 13 time world champion the current 
Intercontinental Champion. The man whose title is hanging above the ring. The Apex Predator, the Viper, Randy Orton. Now, as far as this universe mode goes, this will be the last time you'll see Randy Orton and Pete Dunne contesting for the IT title against each other. Because no matter what happens in this match tonight, whoever comes out the victor, that is done. This is the last time Orton and Dunne will face off. But never underestimate the Viper, 13 time world champion, a former IC champion, two time Royal Rumble winner, and one of the greatest in ring performers of all time. Looking cool, calm. Composed, the three sees of Randy Orton, but the one pose of the Viper. Now will the Viper reach for his title once again tonight and cement himself as one of the most dominant men in WWE, or will it go to one of these two men? that are standing in front of him and to his left in this TLC triple threat match. Episode two's main event is underway. Pete Dunne has one clear target in mind and it is Randy Orton as they go for blows already. Pete Dunne trying to lift Orton up for a suplex. Balor being smart or he's going for the ladder and Orton with a Lou Fez press. All ready to Pete Dunne. He picks up Pete. Oh! Looks like Finn Balor kicked to the kicked to go going after the Viper. Both men want the IC champion out of this, but Orton will never be out of it. Oh and Balor with a kick to the gut. Drop kick missed. And Balor reverses the punch from Randy. Oh! Orton kicked to the knee. Going to lift Finn Balor up for a suplex. Oh, oh, Orton dropping down to the floor. And Orange to the outside. Orton goes. Deal with both men simultaneously isn't an easy task. Especially when both of them are not your friend. Orton a bit outraged here. Rolled back into the ring. As Pete Dunne delivers a power bomb to Finn Balor. But Pete Dunne turns round and Orton already with a swinging net breaker. Balor gets straight up, going after Pete Dunne. Oh my god! Finn Balor blindsided Randy Orton already. Oh, Balor with a DDT to the Viper. As Pete Dunne already going for it. But Balor going back to the outside. Going after Randy Orton. But Orton spots the threat. Punching the fire Pete Dunne. Grabbing Pete Dunne. And down he goes. Orton and Balor going back to war. As Orton chucking Finn to the outside. And Orton... With a close line to Pete Dunne, but Dunne reverses. And Orton to the outside. But Orton gets straight back up. Pete Dunne trying to go for the title again. But Orton gets done. Punches him again and to the floor goes Pete. Randy thrown into Bala. No. Oh. Oh my god! Pete Dunne bringing out his infamous brass knucks. His brass knuckles. And hitting Orton across the face. Now Balor 
Is it his time? Go for the Intercontinental Championship. Can Orton get up? Orton's up. Can he stop Balor? Orton with a punch to Finn here. Keep, keeps going after Finn Balor here. And Balor is down. And chucking Balor to the outside. Along with Pete Dunne into the corner. Orton has had about enough of these two mongrels. Going after his championship. Orton. Try to chuck Pete Dunne. But Dunne chucks Orton. Orton ducks under. And Randy Orton. With an inverted DDT right to the back. To the top of the back there. Out the ring goes Pete Dunn. Finn Balor make his way into the ring. And Orton double dropping him with one punch. Balor already going to the outside. As Orton gets Pete Dunn through the middle rope with a net breaker. Randy picks up Pete. Chucking him. To the outside for a spike DDT vintage Randy Orton. Orton isn't done with this match yet. Getting rid of the ladder. As Orton going to the outside, picks up Finn. Is he going to get him up for a power bomb? No! Finn reverses into a sunset flip. Let's go. Now Finn Balor has altered STO. Pete Dunne, the only man in the ring, just crawling to his feet. Now Balor, oh, double knees. Now Finn has turned his attention to the bruiserweight. Pete Dunne, what's going to happen here? Oh my god. Oh my god. Pulling the nose. Oh, and a stomp right to the back of the head. Everyone's out on the ground. Can Finn Balor get up? Can Randy Orton get up? Orton's getting up. Now to the other side. Goes Randy. Oh, a punch to Orton. Orton catches him. Orton! Oh my god! Randy Orton trying to go for an RKO off the top of the ladder and misses. Pete Dunne just chucks him. Balor, what's he doing here? Oh my god. Where's Randy going? Finn Balor getting ever so close to that Intercontinental Championship. Orton trying to drag Balor down. No, no, no. With a power bomb. Now it's time for Orton to go up. Orton up. It's this Orton's time. Randy Orton trying to get the IC Championship. But Pete Dunne. Orton catches him. Punching again to Dunne. Dunne reverses. Orton reverses. Oh, Finn Balor punching Orton off. Finn Balor. Is it his time? Finn Balor's done it. Finn Balor is your new Intercontinental Champion. Orton and Dunn were too busy destroying each other that they did not recognise the third threat in Finn Balor. But look at that, Orton trying to go for an RKO, but misses and because them two are quarrelling so much. Finn Balor is now your new Intercontinental Champion. Ladies and gentlemen, 
Thank you all so much for watching. The implications of this are going to be severe. But thank you all so much for watching. Take care and peace.